Firefighters are calling a fire at the old A.L. Miller School that sent one firefighter to the hospital suspicious. One captain tells me if it weren't for the boarded up windows on the buildings, this fire could have been a lot worse. Firefighters used every source they could. Crews had aerial units cooling down these smoldering vacant buildings. Uh, my shift came in and relieved the other shifts. We caught the brunt of the fire last night. The first engines arrived at the scene around 12.30 Friday morning. And Captain Timothy Johnson says the fire was massive. We've been uh, basically going through uh, slowly and methodically hitting each classroom, putting out the hot spots, uh, you know, finishing extinguishing the fire. Captain Rex Sampson was one of the first on the scene. He injured his leg and was taken to the hospital. The gymnasium at the old school, that's been vacant for years, was destroyed. Other buildings on the campus were damaged from smoke and water. Jackson says the boarded up building prevented the fire from spreading due to a lack of oxygen, but it made it harder for firefighters to control. Once you get a, a, a fire of that magnitude going, it's, it makes it harder on us because of the ventilation aspect and we got to pull the boards off the windows and to be able to uh, extinguish the fire. Megan Bibbs assistant fire chief tells me the building didn't have power, which rules out an electrical issue starting the fire making this case suspicious. A Kentucky-based consultant group is looking to redevelop the old school into 71 apartments. It's nothing to, you know, um, take, make light of, of course, but um, no, I mean, we, we've got, you know, the rest of the campus to, to develop. The, um, the elementary school damage is minimal from what we understand. The structure's still in place. We were going to renovate the inside of that building anyway, Representatives say they have no plans to slow this project down and are looking forward to beginning the renovation process in September. Our project's moving forward 100% full bore. We're, we're not stopping. Several roads that were blocked off this morning are now open again. The state fire marshal is sending a crew to assess the damage on Monday. Captain Swanson was released from the hospital this afternoon. No word on what caused that fire.